Hey you guys, welcome to Mike Creed Outdoors. I really do thank you for watching and God bless you all. Guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to take an axe handle and put it in an axe head. One of the easiest ways to do this. I'm going to show it to you in this video. I found this old axe, guys, laying in the ground, buried. It had, I don't know how long it had been there, but it was a fireman's axe. If you guys know what a fireman's axe is, a fireman's axe has a crooked point that comes off the back side of the axe that helps them uh, beat through walls, uh, rip doors down, uh, and, and just chop through doors and stuff like that and walls of houses. I cut that off and repurposed this axe. This axe is very thin through this way. And when I looked at the axe, it was really rusty. I took a grinder, you know, just a regular old grinder, and ground all that off, cut this part off. But I like this axe because it's thin back here, meaning when you're chopping with it, it will go further into the wood you're trying to cut. So I'm going to show you how to put this axe handle, guys, in this axe on this video and tell you just a little bit how I did this. Okay, you guys, watch this, what I'm going to show you right here. When you go to the store, I went to the Farm Bureau and I picked up this axe handle. And how I determined, basically, without taking the axe head with me, the size that I needed was I took and cut a piece of pasteboard out that practically matches the eye of the axe. I stick that in my pocket. I go to the store. I find an axe head that you know is going to come reasonable you're not you're not going to find it perfect because it's hard to tell who made the axe and who made the handles so you're, you're probably never going to find one that perfectly matches that but I found this handle for like eight dollars and ninety five cents it's a 28 inch single bit boys axe handle that's what that is a 28 inch single bit boys axe handle now to do this you're going to need a rasp I got a couple of them here, and of course you're going to need a hammer after a while. Okay, what you want to do, guys, is you'll take that axe, put your mark. I think I got my big hand in the way. It's just the way I do it. You can measure it if you want to, but here you go. Put your mark on that handle, and that's that's how far we're going to cut it. Okay, we've got it mounted up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to start cutting right here, back here where it's going to go to. That we'll know we'll know where to stop the cut. At. this is pretty simple and easy to do and I can see there right there is where the cut is on the other side of the axe simply bring your axe over there and see if you're getting it to where it'll start on the on the head of that axe. And this one's still just a little too tight right there. What you want to end up with guys is this this thing's got a slot in it for that wedge right there. You want to thin this thing down enough to where you can drive your wedge in there and get it tight. All right, guys, once that thing gets started onto your axe head, turn it up, 
and hit right on the back of your axe. Right on the back of that handle. That force that's happening right there will cause that thing to start moving down the axe head. Now you can see right here that it's shaving off, guys, you can see right there where it's shaving off that material on both sides. So then knock it back off of the handle again and just shave some more of that material off. Okay, you can see right there, I just knocked the handle back off. If you see them, you see where it was down on there, just shave some more of this material off of the axe handle. That way, if you drive it on there the other way, see, you'll be splintering it. This looks like I'm about an inch from where I need to be. That's moving right on down the handle. That's going to be a nice little axe. It's going to be light. I'm going to make a backpacker's axe out of that. I'm going to hang that right on the pack, just like that right there. Okay, guys. It's that last little bit right at the bottom of that thing. I might not have probably a half inch to go. I'll just take my pocket knife, and I'll continue to cut right at the back side of that edge right there. All the way around where you see that stuff shaving up. And that'll give you a perfect fit for that handle right there. Thanks for watching you guys, have a great day.